All right, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be going over a new automation that I made for myself that helps me streamline the process for interviewing guests for my podcast. And I think this is applicable to pretty much any type of call you're getting on with somebody. Like if you're trying to get targeted questions for someone and you're short on time or you just sort of want to have some of it be automated away so you don't have to do as much of the manual labor of researching, but more so the final touches of looking at these specific questions and deciding which ones you want to dive into. I think it's very helpful across the board, not just for podcasters, but let's just get into how I set this up and what inspired me to do this. So I am going to be talking to this guy, Ed, uh, next week. And the way I would usually do this with people is, before I had this automation, is I would take their Twitter, their uh, their website, and maybe, like, if they had some YouTube interviews, I would use those as well. And I would scrape those with Appify. So I would come here, and I would just pick the actor. Oops. Let's, uh, can I move this? There we go. Um... I would pick one of the actors, such as like this one, and I would put in his Twitter handle, and then I would scrape a bunch of his tweets just to kind of see what he's been talking about, and then I could have um, ChatGPT or Claude or whatever model you like to use sort of synthesize what he's talking about and kind of ask targeted questions about what he's been talking about. So that was the manual way that I had done that before. But now what I've done is I've created this... Airtable, and the way it would work is I've already submitted it, but I would come here and I would input the name of the guest, notes about them, their Twitter, their website, their newsletter, and any context that I want to add for the interview. I will probably add LinkedIn and YouTube in the future. Um, my goal is to essentially make this as flexible as possible based on the information you can find on the person, um, but for now, this is doing quite a good job and most people that I interview are from Twitter so they usually have a Twitter a website and a newsletter or at least two of the three so I've already submitted that um, as a form which you can see right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the automation that I made which is right here so when the form is submitted um, we open up the code yep Ignore the webhook. We'll have to get a new one. It's okay. Um, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm getting the current record that was submitted. And I'm going to create a body request for, like, the sending body for this request I'm going to make to our make webhook, which I will talk about in a second. And what I'm sending is the associated record ID and the links to scrape in an array. And then I'm sending it to the make webhook. So let's talk about how this is working under the hood in Make. So I am first sending the request to the webhook, and then we have a router here, which first is going to go to the iterator. And then once we're done iterating over the links to scrape, we're going to come back and search all of the captured content, combine all the text, run it through ChatGPT, and generate a question set. So inside of the iterator, you can see we're iterating over the scrapes or the links to scrape. Um, sorry about that. And we have the Twitter and the website for this one. They don't have a newsletter that I could find. And in the router, we have two routes we can take. So we have this filter right here. So if the type is website, we're going to use the Appify website content crawler. And we're going to fetch the content once it's been scraped. And we will then create a new record in Airtable. And we'll do the same for the Twitter URL as well. It's just that I'm using a different Appify actor for this. And there's a little bit more logic that goes into this because there's usually about 50 tweets that it will pull. You will first scrape all of them, aggregate them, iterate over each of them, and oops, and then we will save these to Airtable in our captured content table. And then once we've done that for both the website and the Twitter, and you know hypothetically the newsletter, 
which this person does not have, we will go back to the beginning of the router, and then we will search all records in the captured content table that have the associated record ID. And I do want to show you, if you're curious about what formula I'm using, because I had to pretty much just ask ChatGPT until I got it right, <laughs> I am using this formula right here, where we're using, we're saying find the associated record for associated guest, square to zero, and we have a limit of 55. And the reason I have a limit of 55 is because I know I'm getting, at most, I'm at most I'm getting 50 tweets, one website, and one newsletter right now so that, that would be like 50 53 records so that is just like adding a little soft cap um to pull all of the content that we have and then what i'm doing is i'm taking all of the raw content from each record and i'm using this tool that is going to combine all the text if you see here the input is taking all of the records and all of the raw content and the output if you can see that down there, it is combining all the text into one piece of text, one string. And then what I'm doing is I'm passing that to our OpenAI module, where I have a system message, and this could probably be touched up a bunch, but for right now, this is for education purposes to show you how I set it up. Um, I have a message just telling it, you know, you're an expert researcher, you know how to generate good questions based on the content we find from a guest, and then I say, please generate a question set for interview with a guest based on their content below in the content tags and then i'm taking the text from our previous module that has combined all the text putting it in the content tags and then having it generate the question set and then finally we save that to airtable so let's take a look at what this looks like i will run a test right now and i will show you the end results so we are running we will wait for new data i will test the script because it's not an active automation yet and we should see it start to kick off right here and now this takes about i'd say maybe five minutes max so i'm going to cut to the end once this automation is done and then we'll talk about what happens after it is completed okay so let's first take a look at the captured content table as you can see, I have pulled 50 tweets from his from his uh, Twitter, and we have his website at the bottom right there. And when I saved all of these, I also, um, in my make automation, I want to make note of this. This is the reason I'm setting the associated record ID. So every piece of captured content we can associate with the same guest. And this lets us then search for all of that captured content once we've scraped all of it in this top section right here and then come back to then pull all of the content and what we have at the end is this right here and so it says okay so here's the question set based on the content so you're saying your content mentions skills and bad habits are the same set of learned behaviors could you elaborate on this concept and how does it influence your approach to personal development questions on ai powered content creation in your course modern creator you emphasize leveraging ai to streamline content creation what inspired you to integrate ai in this process and that's the entire flow. And now there is one more thing I did not mention in the beginning, but you may have seen it. I have the second automation here where every time a new record is created, we create a new Google Doc. And I simply have connected this Google Doc to my folder, my Google Drive, where I have all of my documents for my guests that I'm interviewing. And if I come over here, you can see it's right here. This is the most recent one, according to the time. And boom, it's right there. So, you know, right now, maybe the next step I could take is formatting it a little bit and then also automatically sending this through Zapier to the guest's email. And so they have it automatically once I've finished the automation. And yeah, I wanted to share this to first show people how this is possible. I think this is a very valuable automation. And I want to sort of iterate, or I mean reiterate, the fact that we're not removing the human from the loop here. This is kind of the whole idea that I've started to talk about more recently, which is augmented intelligence. And by augmented intelligence, I mean the augmentation of you, the creative human intelligence, the kernel that is going to make the whole engine run. So 
was I involved in the nitty gritty researching and selecting all the content and coming up with the questions off of that? No. But what I have here is something that's probably, probably 80% of the way there. And I have all of the pieces of captured content I can go back and review. And now I have something to work with instead of starting from the blank page. This just makes the whole process faster. So if you're trying to stack up all those calls, this would be a great, a great way to sort of streamline that process. So I hope you liked the video. Um, if you want to learn more, you can find me on Twitter. It's uh, Michael Daigler underscore. Uh, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, drop a comment if you have any questions. And if you want, you can go and join my free school. I will be making it paid, I believe, on June 1st. So this is probably the last day that you can actually get in. Um, and yeah, so that is the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, um, I hope you did. Until next time, much love and peace, y'all.